Hi everyone, my name is Vasudha. Welcome to my channel. In my last video, I talked about some of the books I purchased from Amazon for my little one from the fiction category. In today's video, I will talk about some books I purchased from Amazon from the non-fiction category which are equally interesting and will surely keep your little ones also constructively engaged and help them to explore and learn many new things. But before we begin, I would like to say that buying too many books for your kids all at once is not a good idea. Even one or two books can suffice. If you buy them all at once, you will overwhelm your kids with a lot of information. So going overboard with getting more and more stuff should be avoided. If you want your kids to develop a deeper understanding of a particular subject or a theme, or if you want to help them improve memorization or encourage them to learn more, then just one or two books should be more than enough. And if you are a parent or a teacher, then you would know that the purpose of introducing books to your kids is to develop their curiosity. Of course, we want them to also learn a lot of things, but our primary aim should be to make them curious. So I would suggest that you observe their interests minutely and then you provide the necessary resources according to their interests and feed into their curiosity so let's dive in my son is obsessed with solar system these days so i grabbed a few books from amazon india which are on the solar system and if your kids are also interested in such a theme or similar themes you can find many such books on amazon if your kid loves planets if your kids is interested in how the sun came about or what are comets or those big kind of questions how the universe was created then I'm going to surely recommend three books for your kids and if you want them to develop an interest in this theme then also you can grab them so the first one I'm going to show you is called space and beyond it's a mini pedia so this book has facts about the planets and this book has little information about each and every planet. If your kid wants to learn about the sun, for example, you can show them these photos, what's inside the sun, what's inside the planets, what are they formed of, but you'll have to read it to them. I'm not sure if kids would be able to read all of this because it has lot of technical words in it so in this particular age group you will have to assist them in reading these books the next one is 100 facts solar system and here also you'll find lots of facts about the solar system how many moons are there of a particular planet which one is the biggest moon in our solar system there are so many details which even i don't know but my son is teaching me these days so it's fun to learn along with your kids isn't it so this one is slightly easier i would say as compared to the first one that i showed you because it has little just little nuggets of information so it's not too heavy but it's fully detailed as well i've shown this page before so yeah there are different different uh, facts about our solar system and it has fantastic images also how it was formed and so on and the last one about solar system i'm going to show you because my son is obsessed like i said with the solar system he has even gone as far as actually researching about the dwarf planets so i found this book about the solar system and its dwarf planets on amazon india Frankly, I didn't know that there were other dwarf planets besides Pluto. So thanks to my son, I'm learning more 
about our solar system from him now this book is i would say not suitable for the younger kids as such they may like the pictures they may definitely learn through the pictures the different colors you can show this to your kids they can identify the different colors the patterns in different planets and they may not remember everything every little detail that you will read out to them but we are visual creatures so they will remember the patterns the colors all these details and that can eventually develop an interest in science for your kids so for the older kids i would say this book is more appropriate i would say six plus or seven if your kids are really into solar system then this would make for a good book for reading and if you want your kids to gain knowledge about different matters then amazon also has encyclopedias for kids so you can start with junior encyclopedia for this particular age group this is a very good option because it has little bit of information about many different topics so it talks about different kinds of dinosaurs it will tell you a lot about animals it will tell you a lot about how the again universe came about your body system it will talk about how the human body works this is a bit about history lot of things about fruits vegetables butterflies and the best part is that it comes with not too much text it's not overwhelming for your kid just the right amount of explanation so if you are talking about butterflies or moths it's not going on and on and on it's just explaining it in snippets so that's the best part about junior encyclopedia that you, it covers a whole range of themes with just the precise amount of information and the last book i'm going to show you in the non-fiction category here is an animal encyclopedia so if your child is interested in a specific theme and i know my child likes uh, animals as well he likes to learn a lot about them so this one is highly recommended because the illustrations again the pictures are so vivid and it talks about not just the animals per se but like the whole animal kingdom what i also liked about this book is that it not just talks about only birds it talks about exotic birds it talks about birds of prey it talks about different types of birds so it just doesn't stop at birds but it goes into a little bit extra detail as well so this makes for actually a very rich collection of information packed in one and it's not just the animals like i said it has moths and bees and insects and it has sea animals and birds and lots of information and lots of pictures so i really recommend this book to you junior encyclopedia fits this age group perfectly so these were some of the books that i would recommend for four to eight year old age group and last but not the least in addition to reading you would also like your kids to practice some of their reading skills their learning skills whether it's maths or science or general knowledge or english and for that i would recommend buying workbooks from amazon india they have an amazing collection and uh, some of them which i would recommend are brilliant brain you can go by the age of your child so this one is for six plus and these books have colorful pages inside and very easy to comprehend questions very very interesting fun activities 
and questions and puzzles they can do it all on their own also you don't have to assist them all the time even for smaller age groups there are many other books like these and another one that I would really recommend is by Dreamland Publications and they have really interesting, honestly, they have very, very good workbooks and there are different websites also I know which offer a lot of worksheets but if you don't have a printer at home or if you just don't like to collect too much paper then these kind of books are really good because it has more than I think 60 pages yeah 64 pages and these books have simple questions for practice but these are done in a very attractive manner lots of colors and again going by the age group you can choose what subject you want so there is environment there are different questions different set of questions in environment then you have logical reasoning for age six you have scrambled words you have to unscramble them there are mazes then you have to color the shapes you have to count the shapes you have to match the following there is join the dots and i also have a maths activity book here again lots of patterns questions join the dots color coloring activities and then there is an english one as well so again reading and writing english can go hand in hand with these books they can read they can form sentences they can look for the words simple words spell the words so there are a lot of questions in here which are very easy and fun to practice on and i've also got hold of one level higher because i got a fantastic deal on this so I've got it for seven plus age as well. So this is a set of five books, which is value for money back. And it has all the subjects, English, maths, and logical reasoning, environment, and I think science. They introduce science in this separately. It's not there for the lower age groups, but from age seven, they do have it. And so all activities are packed in just one book. This keeps the kids busy for hours. And trust me, you can bring down their screen time considerably by these books, and I'm sure they will like it so that was about books from the non-fiction category from amazon i hope you will grab some of these if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and please share your comments pass on this video to your friends or whoever you think may be interested until next video thank you and bye